Berry Hughes to toy with. Excuse me, could we get some coffee, please? And a muffin? Warmed? friends and happy autumn. In this house, autumn is a state of mind. It's back to school season. It's the start of my Gilmore Girls rewatch. Starbucks is back with pumpkin spice flavored everything. So I deem it officially fall and you can't tell me otherwise. So in honor of that, today I'm going to share a bunch of ways to style academia outfits. I'm also going to be sharing some tips about how to use a single skirt or a single sweater to put together multiple outfits, to use it as a base. That way you don't need to be buying a bunch of clothes. And then at the end of the video, there will be a lookbook portion. So without further ado, let's get started. First up, I have this basic outfit. We've got a skirt, which is super cute. You can do so many things with this color and this style. And this is nice, but there are a few things that we can add to spice it up a bit. And the first thing is a sweater vest. This is nice, but we don't want to lose our waist. So I am going to tuck this in. Instantly, I feel like that just ups the level on this outfit. But the next thing that I would recommend adding is jewelry. My personal go-tos are pearls and anything gold. And then finally, I would maybe add a tote bag. And that completes the look. And I think it's so cute. This is perfect for anything. Going to the library, going to study, going to a farmer's market. This is going to be a staple outfit for me this fall. can't go wrong with a plaid dress. I am going to roll up the sleeves just a bit. And while you could wear it just like this, I'm gonna spice it up again by adding yet again another sweater vest. Because I just can't be stopped and these are my absolute obsession. Half of my Pinterest is just girls wearing sweater vests. It's so cute. I love this so much. I have also added these really cute, I'm gonna fall over. Shoes, ouch, <laughs> I'm okay. So then to finish it off, I'll just grab the same tote bag that I was using, this day bag, which I'm obsessed with, and a book, which I purposely chose Frankenstein because it matches my outfit. And now I'm ready to go on a study date with my friends under some fall foliage as we drink Starbucks and chat about everything but schoolwork. So you wanna wear a plaid skirt, but you're not sure really how to style it. These are my favorite ways. So first, just get any sort of white button up. I got this from the men's section at my local thrift store. Layering is my favorite thing. So next I'm going to grab a neutral colored sweatshirt. So I have this light cream sweatshirt that I'm going to throw on over top. I kind of like the loose casual feel of leaving part of this untucked, but you could do it a few other ways. You could tuck in the white button up and just have the sweater on top, or you could even tuck everything in and then just adjust it by pulling the sweater out a little bit. I love it. I think it's so cute. One of my other favorite ways to style a plaid skirt is with a sweatshirt. So easy and it's so cute. Look at this, it has a little cat and a pumpkin on it. And now it's a bit more casual. So we paired it with the sweater, we paired it with a sweatshirt, and now I'm gonna pair it with the same sweater vest that I already used. And just like that, you have another option for styling the skirt. I think investing in a skirt that you really like is worth it because of all the options that you have when it comes to styling it. I'm just obsessed with sweater vests and plaid skirts. Tell me this outfit is not adorable. This is more like cottage glory, vintage, cute academia, but the plaid really screams back to school academia vibes. For this outfit, all you need is a pinafore dress and any sort of a cute blouse underneath. This is a knit blouse that I got from Target and it has these puffy sleeves. And I've still got some gold jewelry on my neck and I've got my bracelets on still. It's so cute.
for this base, we're just gonna start with a flowy skirt and a turtleneck. We are going to spice it up with two staple pieces that will make any outfit just level up by adding them on, and that is a belt and a baggy button up. I mean, come on, it screams farmer's market on a Saturday morning. You could untuck one side, then you still get the waist, you could untuck both of the sides. That's still cute. And then also, I just like to roll up the button up so that you can see my turtleneck sleeve underneath to give it more dimension. Accessories and layers are really what tie outfits together. Tweed skirts are such a fall staple because again, you can put so many things with them. I have a belt on to accentuate my waist. And then this is the same sweater that I wore earlier with the plaid skirt. I never used to be a tote bag person, but I've been seeing them everywhere. So now I'm obsessed with mine and you can pair it as you've seen in this video with so many different outfits, just gives it a nice little finishing touch. I'm sorry, did someone say dark academia? With this outfit, we are going simple. I have this black dress and I paired it with a belt and a beret that matches the belt. So if you wanna tie an outfit together, an easy thing to do is to match some colors. So this time I went for matching my beret to my belt and then I also have this blazer. It's actually quite warm too with the blazer. This is pretty thick. All right, let's check out the twirl on this dress. <gasps> oh, it's magical. I really wanna go walk around a university campus or just sit outside and read my Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Romanticize my life to the max. I can't help myself with the blazers. This outfit again screams dark academia. I'm not usually a trouser person, but these ones fit me really nicely and they're super comfortable as well. Then I paired it with a turtleneck and this really amazing tweed blazer. It has these specks of different colors all throughout it. I have the Hound of the Baskervilles to match my outfit because I'm a huge fan of walking around with books that match my outfit and then other bookworms know that I'm a bookworm and maybe they'll ask me about what book I'm reading and we can talk about books. So I kind of view books as an accessory or a handbag and I often walk around with them and my bag. It's like a sign that says, I am a bookworm, talk to me about what I'm reading. Another great staple piece would be a neutral colored dress. I love anything light brown, cream, almond, those types of colors. This one's really, really nice. And I love the detailing on the sleeves. And this is nice by itself, but again, we're gonna add layers to spice it up a bit. I have this vest, again, with the vest. Can't stop myself. I love layering vests. I've said that so many times in this video, but I can't like, I just, can't stop. You could also go a bit further and you could add a beret. But now I actually wanna show you how you can style this dress a few other ways. So this is another option, but I actually have a hack for this one. I would usually grab a ribbon, but I've got some twine and I'm gonna wrap it around my, where my waist is and then just tie a little bow and then twist it around to the back. And then you just pull it up like this. And then you have a cropped vest. Now, if you wanna go more casual, Gilmore Girls vibes, you can just throw on a jean jacket over it. Another one of my favorite ways to dress during autumn is matching my clothes to have a monochromatic look. And that's so easy to do because you just have to pull the same color together. So all I have here is a black pair of high-waisted jeans and Jared's turtleneck because I don't own a black turtleneck myself. But you wanna know what, sometimes the guys sections have such good clothes. Now this is amazing. I can just grab my tote bag and then put on some black loafers. And this is, this is all you need. I love this. Again, I feel like I should be in Gilmore Girls talking to Rory about books. This is the same button up from before. And again, the tote bag completes the outfit in my opinion. And you can just throw in a cardigan. And that's it.
Okay, I know this gives off major schoolgirl vibes, which I am very much not a schoolgirl. Kinda wish I was still in school sometimes, but that's besides the point. I love the idea of a denim dress over a nice button up. This one has embroidery. I like to think of this style as adorable adult because it's just so cute. I kinda feel like I belong in a Ghibli movie. I imagine myself going apple picking, uh, baking apple pie afterwards in this outfit. I love it. Okay, I realize this is not an outfit, it's a nightgown, but I would have felt so fancy wearing a nightgown like this when I was at university. This is the epitome of like a Victorian ghost haunting your dorm room. Like, it speaks for itself. Last and very much not least, this outfit. This top very well might be the cutest thing that I've purchased this season. And then I've got these faux corduroy shorts. I think this is a great transitional outfit going from summer into autumn because it's autumnal colors, but it's not like you're going to sweat to death if you go outside when it's still 80, 90 degrees outside. It's so cute. I need to stop saying it's so cute. It's so... It's so cute! <laughs> Now I just wanna go make some caramel apples, go to a corn maze, go pick some pumpkins, make pumpkin pie. Just makes me feel like I am wearing autumn in the form of an outfit. Before we move on to the lookbook portion of the video, I did wanna give a shout out to the Etsy store where I get all my favorite Gilmore Girls items. This isn't sponsored, I just honestly love literally everything from her shop. It's called Scarlet Caverly Co. It's perfect for copy lovers, bookworms, Gilmore Girls fans. I'm obsessed with my Dragonfly in sweatshirt that I got from her. I will leave the shop link down in the description box for any of you guys who are interested. i